Okay, let me try uh, uh, a time. <clears throat> Let me just make some points about the uh, Russian Ukrainian war. Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, the elites <laughs> in the West uh, want to engage in a war with Russia to destroy it. Uh, why? Because I think Russia stands in the way of implementing their uh, one world government global domination plans. Uh, well, you know, first Russia, then China. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to talk about like just some scattered thoughts here. You see all these uh, the the border crisis in the U.S. mass migration in Europe. Why? Why are they allowing this? Why are the governments of these territories allowing this? I'll tell you why. Well, this is one of my suspicions. Uh, they're going to plan, a uh, possible plan is to use these migrants as soldiers to fight the Russians. Because I think the uh, local population might be reluctant to uh, fight in Ukraine with the Russians. But... But you might be able to co um, pass laws saying, okay, if you all these migrants, if you're, you know, if you're, if you don't have any uh, legal basis to be here, if you fight, the Russians will give you, uh, you know, uh, will, you know, give you a residence, uh, citizenship, or whatever. So there you that's why they're promoting all of this mass migration is because they, they, uh, they're going to try to find a way to get soldiers to fight the Russians. Um, and uh, one of the strategies is to maybe import all these people or allow them to come in. And then you create a narrative where it seems like all these people are committing crimes and uh, they are very dangerous to the stability of the society. So by creating that narrative, the same people who are importing them are going to create the narrative that these people are a problem. So by creating that narrative, uh, you know, by working with underground, <laughs> you know, deep state stuff, uh you're gonna convince the populace like see these people are a problem and then uh, and then you'll and then you'll uh so you create the problem and the solution is all right so since we know these people are here you know illegally they're causing all these crimes but hey we can why don't we just conscript them into the into some kind of a I don't know, NATO L or NATO K, <laughs> some kind of a an army and send them to fight the Russians. So you can you can you can solve the mass immigration problem, the crim and and then you can also you know. So you don't have to personally go to war, you know. So for for terrorize the populace into saying, oh look, we gotta fight the Russians, we gotta go and send troops, but and and, and you know. Uh, 
then the people will be like, oh, no, we don't want to fly. That's dangerous. We don't want to get killed. But then you say, what? But these immigrants are here. You know, they're causing problems. Why don't we send them? <laughs> you see how these guys are so stupid. But this is what they're, I think, they're, the way they're operating here. I personally think that the people who are doing this are these Nazis who lost the war and they're so angry and they're trying to, this is their huge, I don't know, 70 year, maybe the Nazis are the ones who are flying the UFOs and, uh, you know, um, or maybe they could be aliens as well. But let's just say, let's just assume, well, I have a very strong suspicion these are Nazis, actual Nazis from World War II and their, and their descendants progeny uh, and uh, they've put themselves in all these nato positions in the high places in the military and they're trying to engineer a situation where they can fight the russians and destroy the russians because they're so angry that they lost the war <laughs> i think that's what's happening and i feel like you know nuclear war world war three i mean this is like a very realistic possibility you know, and I'm, hopefully the Russians find a way to manage this where they can secure their own security interests. But, but I hope that Russians understand that this is what's happening. And I think they do. Uh, but I hope they find a way to manage it so uh, we don't end up in some kind of a nuclear exchange. And once it starts, it's you know it's gonna kind of go quickly, very quickly. It can escalate. So that was a really good video on Telegram. Where this guy was. Uh, I should uh, share that video. It was actually pretty good. Um, let's see if I can flash. Copy link. Let me see. This is a. Yeah, it's on Telegram. It's a, it's a, it's a very good uh, kind of summary of uh, possible nuclear escalation or Armageddon. Um, so Nazis. I mean, when when Putin said Nazis, he's not just sort of saying the Ukrainian Nazis. He's actually talking about actual Nazis from World War who are in, in the U.S. military, in in NATO, in the government. Who are, who are. It's not the whole government. I think that the, the, these guys are playing everybody. You see Hollywood, uh, all those movies about how Russians are the bad guys. That's like a kind of propaganda. To make the Russians, the Americans, to think, oh, these Russians are really bad. So it'll be easier to get them to fight the Russians. It's like, you know, Vietnam, Afghanistan, it's all about fighting the Russians. It's just, it's just insane. These people are hell-bent on, 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 on revenge. Hell-bent on revenge for the losing the war. These people are dangerous. This is, this is my view, my opinion, but anyway. Um, yeah, we, um, yeah, things are pretty serious and dangerous, I think, yeah.